Hey guys, make sure you stand to the end. One common mistake people make when replacing fuses relays that can cost you thousands of dollars in repairs. Stay with us, we'll explain what it is. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair Guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today guys will be super helpful video to any of you having a Mercedes E-Class. We're talking about this generation that you see right here from year 2010 to year 2016. This generation E-Class is known as Generation W212. If you need to find where the radiator fan relay is located, stay with us, we'll explain that in this video today. Where you can find it, where you can buy cheap parts, tools, fuses, relays at a good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea guys to test fuses and realize all that will be covered absolutely free for your convenience make sure you stay until the end so before we start let us tell you a little bit about us guys now if you have a mercedes e-class that generation from year 2010 to year 2016 17 guys this is the w212 guys we're going to have a video for every single fuse relay on that car why things do not work why we're making this one because uh we're trying to save you time and money guys let's say you're down the road in the middle of nowhere your car does not start you need to find where your engine starter fuse relay is located guys where you can find fuel injection uh, system uh, fuses fuel pump fuses all you have to do come to the channel watch that video one two minutes you're back on the road guys in addition we'll share where you can buy cheap parts and tools that way you do not waste your money and time every single car we get here at the garage we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos we take them completely apart we show you how to fix mechanical electrical engine work guys bodywork a little bit of everything and we have more than 12,000 free repair videos on our channels that can save you thousands of dollars guys in free repair videos check it out if you need help with that so let's go ahead and start on it now so the radiator fan relay where you can expect to find it guys we will demonstrate on that generation mercedes c-class here now guys this is the same generation this is the model before the facelift this is after the facelift but that's the same generation it should work for both today guys okay we'll show you two different fuse boxes we have multiple fuse boxes but two of them one is in the trunk on the right side under that cover you have multiple relays but none of these is for the radiator fan the other one is under the hood so if you open the hood okay here on the driver's side next to the brake fluid reservoir you have that cover Go ahead and remove it and you will find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we guys continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well, common mistakes people make. Sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need, uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse. So we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse, it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i will never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on BMW that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience so guys here now uh, oh by the way if you need to buy any fuses relays parts tools radiator fans at a good price quick shipping not just for mercedes but any car we will put a link in the description of the video below check it out you can save quite a bit of money guys uh, and that's where we get most of our tools and supplies from now we have multiple relays here none of this is for the radiator fan guys okay you have two relays that you need to check for the engine computer and the chassis guys uh circuit 87 there are these two relays but you actually have relay fuses for the radiator fan uh, and it's controlled by the engine computer so no relay specifically dedicated okay so one of them that you need to check is known as fuse number 22 
right here and the other one is hidden in a fuse box that most people don't know it exists and that fuse box is right here where the positive jump start terminal is that's actually a pre-fuse box it looks like this one and that's another angle if you open it we have fuses on the inside guys that looks like this one and here you have another fuse coming on this side you count one two three four it's that one right here okay that's the one that you need to check that's for the radiator fan guys hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time